Hi, amendment is quite a word to be with while we speak of Indian constitution and so are several kinds of majorities like simple, special, effective. As of March 2019, there have been 103 amendments to the constitution of India since it was first enacted in 1950. There are two types of amendments to the constitution which are governed by Article 368. The first type includes amendments that can be effected by the Parliament of India by a prescribed special majority and the second type of amendment includes those that require in addition to such special majority ratification by at least half of the state legislatures. Yet there are some other articles which provide for the amendment of certain provisions of the constitution by simple majority. So to begin with let us analyze what are the amendment types mentioned in our constitution in detail. To begin with, let us look at what is simple majority. This refers to the majority of more than 50% of the members present and voting. And voting takes place similar to ordinary legislative process. For example, if on a given day out of 543 members, 43 were absent and 200 abstained from voting on an issue, then 300 members were present and would vote. Then the number required will be 300 divided by 2 plus 1 which is equal to 151 for a simple majority to take place. Most of the normal motions and bills in the house such as no confidence motion, motion of thanks, censure motion, adjournment motion, money bills, ordinary bills, abolition or creation of legislative councils and states, admission or establishment of new states etc are dealt with simple majority of parliament. Let us look at special majority of parliament. In this case, special majority means condition 1, at least there are two third of the total membership of the house present and voting and condition 2, the bill must be supported by more than 50% of the total membership of the house. Here total membership comprises the total number of members irrespective of whether there are vacancies or absentees. Let us understand this through an example. Suppose. There are 543 members in parliament, then for a bill to pass by special majority, at least two third of 543 that is 362 members must be present and voting and at least 272 of them must be casting their vote in favor. So both the conditions must be met. Provision which can be amended by this way includes fundamental rights, directed principle of state policy and some more. By special majority, of parliament and consent of states we mean that the special majority remains the same as it was mentioned just a while ago and in addition to that a consent of half of the state legislature by simple majority is needed. The moment half of the states give their consent the procedure is completed. Provisions that can be amended by this way include election of president and its manner, supreme court and high court, lists in the seventh schedule, representation of states in parliament, power of parliament to amend the constitution and its procedure. Now let us look at the effective majority. Effective majority of the house means that more than 50% of the effective strength of the house are taking part into this. This implies that out of the total strength we deduct vacant, absent and abstaining seats. For example, total strength of the house of Lok Sabha is 545, vacant seat is 5, effective strength is uh, 540. Now we have to also deduce out of this effective strength the people those who are abstaining. So let's consider that to be 50. Members present and voting would be 540 minus 50 is equal to 490. Effective majority would be 490 divided by 2 plus 1 which is 245. As per the constitution of India, effective majority is needed for removal of vice president, deputy chairman of Rajya Sabha, Lok Sabha speaker and deputy speaker. Finally, absolute majority. Absolute majority refers to the majority of more than 50% of the total strength of the house. For example, total strength of the Lok Sabha is 545. So absolute majority would be 545 divided by 2 plus 1 which is 273. This majority is not required in isolation in the parliament. Thus, there are instances where such majority is needed along with other majorities. We hope you liked our video. If so, please share it with your friends and subscribe our channel Calendar Study and also hit the bell button for future updates. Thank you and stay tuned.